Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today we are we are we, are, we will be building an aircraft. Now you have to remember this is hardcore mode. So this right here is our is is our tech tree. That right there. That mon monstrosity right there is all we have freaking work with. Okay? Thank you. That being said, because of the fact that we have just unlocked jet engine, now we can actually build an aircraft and do some that will, other than missions, there really isn't any scientific freaking thing we can do anyway before we move on. Well, uh, no, no, I take that back, I take that back, I take that back. There are a few spots on Kerbin that we have not gotten to yet in order to conduct science, in order to get science from. So yes, there is that. So that being said, it is time to build our first real aircraft. All the aircrafts up until now have been somewhat uncontrollable, reliable on reaction wheel only, and a rocket engine. But now that we have unlocked the Juno engine, even though it's small, it can still provide us with enough enough thrust for lift. Not only that, but by unlocking the Juno engine, we've actually unlocked actual wings and elevons and all kinds of other good stuff. Now, yes, I could have easily built a very simple aircraft, but this is the space cult. We're built different. So what do I do now that I have jet power and actual working wings? Well, obviously, our first aircraft will be a frickin' VTOL. In this build, of course, it's, it's purely prototype and experimental. I just wanted to see if it was actually doable. Now, for the color scheme, I went for gray because a lot of your military aircrafts are gray. True, they come in many different shapes and sizes, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, the m majority of aircraft in military fashion is gray. So I went with that. Now, of course, aircrafts are, you know, no stranger to being any color whatsoever, and any color or any camouflage pattern whatsoever but i kind of like the gray scheme yeah the gray scheme was kind of nice look look nice at first i was going for more like an f-15 approach with the two tail and then well I mean, but in order for this thing to actually have vtol capability it would need to have the wings higher unless i figured out some way to put it in the fuselage as of right now there really is no way to do it to put the actual engine inside of a service bay. We would need some sort of some sort of smaller device or part in order to attach everything to and we just don't got it. I could try to cram everything inside of a service bay, but it's it would end up sticking out or be horribly clipped and now it just wasn't I just wasn't it wasn't gonna happen, no. So I ended up putting the actual VTOL engines on the wings. This being the case, the wings would have to be on top of the fuselage and not under it obviously to make room for the engines. I would go through several different designs because, you know, when you're when you're when you're building a prototype, you always you don't really get it right the first time. So at first I only had two engines being used for VTOL. And while that kind of helped a little bit, it wasn't great.
Ultimately, I'd have to use about four engines in order to have a stable, trustworthy, strong VTOL aircraft. And I think it came out all right. I mean, it looked a little funky. It was a little weird, but, you know, it, it works. It works. For, for a prototype, it actually really does look nice. I would continue on later in another video that's going to come up, unless you've, unless you've been to the streams. I would continue on later to make a larger, more powerful VTOL craft, but that will be for another video. Anyway, that's it for today. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you loved it, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. And of course, that bell notification. But anyway, love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.